Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economic business and law. And through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called Compound Return Investing. Further details and information are in the description below. In today's video we're going to be providing an important stock update for Tiximal NLST netlist and uh, before we do that let's have a quick look at what's happening in the markets today it was a very important day with regard to the Fed and on the headline here from Fox Business we can see that the Fed has signalled an interest rate hike and that this could come soon as inflation is raging. So in the second part of the article we can see here that in increasing interest rates could be imminent we're looking at potential highest level of inflation for approximately four decades right now uh, the next meeting for that is penciled in for, by the Fed is looking to take place approximately March the 15th to the 16th. And in the final part of the article, we can see here from an economist's point of view, they're expecting the Fed to increase interest rates probably four times in the year. Traders are looking at pricing in a 90% chance of an increase in interest rates in the March meeting and also looking at a 65% chance of four interest rate increases in 2022. So we're looking at the fear of inflation affecting markets. We've seen a lot of volatility in the markets, especially in the previous two weeks. However, I think a lot of that volatility and decline has penciled in this potential increase in interest rates. So in terms of a potential rally, this is certainly still possible. In today's video, we're going to be providing an important update for Tiximal NLST netlist. There has been some significant developments. This is a stock that has been previously featured on the channel. So first of all, let's start by having a look at the chart. I'm going to look at the chart for the previous month. And uh, what's interesting here, we can see just a few days ago, the stock was trading around about the $7 mark. And then we saw uh, the news in terms of potential delay. And that, that has caused the stock significantly to go into strong decline. And at one point we, we saw the stock going close to around about uh, $3.50 and at today we've seen at one point the stock was up uh, close to 50% currently trading around about 40% up and uh, at a price of $4.68 at a time of editing. So certainly something uh, positive happening right now. So let's have a look at the latest developments. The first thing I'd like to say, there has been a reassignment of judges. So the case is no longer going to be heard by Judge Armstrong. It's now going to be heard by Judge Richard Seaborg, so this is positive news. We did have an issue with the previous judge not going ahead with the case. Uh, so let's have a look at the next development with regard to uh, Netlist. And on the screen here, you'll be able to see the breaking news that just came today, and that is uh, a new date. And we have a date of Netlist versus Google here for March the 3rd, 2022. Uh, and on the screen we, here, we can see that this is uh, in the United States District Court, Northern District of California. San Francisco division. So let's have a look at the next details in, with regard to the updated case details. So on the screen here, I'm going to summarize for you further details with regard to the new notice of motion. So uh, on the screen here, you'll be able to see that the notice is now for March 3rd, 2022. It's gonna be at 1.30 p.m. or soon thereafter as the matter may be heard in the United States District Court, San Francisco Courthouse Court, 3 17th floor 450 golden gate avenue san francisco so if anybody is able to make it to make it in the public gallery and provide any feedback that would certainly be positive uh, so we're looking at remotely should the courts order so it is a possibility of this being heard remotely so we're looking at the honorable chief justice richard seaborg plaintiff is net uh, netlist incorporated and we're looking at the move for an order of transferring, transferring the instant action to the United States District Court for the Central District of California. And uh, we're also looking at an order for granting netlist motion for partial summary judgment on Google's intervening rights. Uh, defense in claim 16 of the patent in suits uh, filed previously, uh, docket 156. And then further down, we can see here that Netlist originally filed this motion to transfer the case on January the 18th and the motion for partial summary judgment on intervening rights uh, on claim 16 on July the 30th, 2021. So this case has been dragging on for a significantly long time. Hopefully it's going to be resolved very, very soon. And we can see in terms of the case being reassigned now to Judge Richard Seaborg and all previously noticed motions were vacated. So pursuant to the court's reassignment order, uh, the clerk's notice uh, with regard to the case uh, is looking at re-notice pending motions for the new hearing date according to the, 
judge um, Seaborg's available dates. So many of you will be aware that previously uh, there was a request for a date of February the 24th. This was refused by Google. So Google were looking at uh, trying to extend this and that's why we now have a date of uh, March the 3rd, 2022. So hopefully this date goes ahead and we do get some positive news. And finally, I'd like to finish off by giving a shout out to Gabriel who has appeared on the channel on a number of occasions. So please refer back to the previous videos where we did a question and answer with Gabriel. So this shout out is with regards to a post he just made uh, recently on StockTwit. So let's have a look at his post, which also includes an important question and thoughts, which hopefully somebody may also be able to add in the comments below. So let's see what he said. He said, uh, Hey all my lungs, I need your input. We know that February the 24th, so it, I think that was a previous date, so it's going to be March the 3rd. So March the 3rd is a hearing for partial, partial summary judgment on claim 16. Obviously we know that is huge. And we know that there's also a hearing to decide if the case gets moved to Central District Court of California. So this was a request also made by Netlist uh, that we covered in one of the previous videos. Did anybody else notice to... Uh, no hearing for motion to strike claim 16 from being added question mark do we read between the lines assume that this was tossed out again question mark uh, you can't have a PSG on claim 16 if the motion to strike is upheld but if we are having a hearing on PSG on claim 16 then it means we're being allowed in the case anyone else come up to this conclusion if so this is really awesome for us Th uh, thoughts please so potential uh, in, insight and question with regard to the partial summary judgment so if anybody would like to offer any insights into this please add that in the description below and finally if anybody would like to get advanced notification and live notification of uh, developments in cases such as uh, netlist and google join us on our discord for as little as nine dollars a month this will also give you access to the million dollar challenge thank you very much for watching please stay tuned